welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy, and in today's fabulous tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with these new Arcos beads by Parpuka. We're also using the Minos, and we've got the tiny size 15 Mayukis to create this beautiful fringing around the edge. I hope you enjoy the project. To make this beautiful bracelet, we're going to be working with the Arcos Parpuka beads, which have three holes and are this fabulous arc shape. The one I've chosen here is the gold ceramic um, and violet look bead from Parpuka. We have the Parpuka Minos beads, the uh, Luster Finish Mayuki two hole half tillers, and size 15. Mayuki rounds. This bead here is just going to be one of my starter beads so it's not part of the actual pattern it just gives us a starter point for the making the jewellery. I'll be working with the precision scissors, round nose pliers and side cutters. I've also got a toggle clasp to finish the bracelet project and we'll be using a 0.8 wire to connect the fastener at the end of the project as well. To thread the beads today, I'm working with a eight pound fire line and a size 12 needle. And I'm just gonna pick up my starter bead and thread that through. Take that down my fire line, leaving about a 10 centimeter tail. And I'm gonna go back up through the same hole just to position the starter bead like so. We're going to pick up one of the Arcos beads and I'm going to go through the first hole. So I'm going from the arc side up and through a Mayuki half tiller bead. We're then going to take another Arcos bead and we're going to go through the hole at the bottom of the arc and out towards the top. I'm going to take those all the way down my thread. So this is what you should have so far. And we'll be attaching our fastener to the actual to the uh, half tiller bead. So that's where we should be at now. And we're now gonna pick up three of the size 15 seed beads. So I've got three on my beading needle. And I'm coming across and through the second hole in the Arcos bead. So the second hole along. So I'm now in the centre between the two Arcos beads and I'm going to be picking up one of the 15s and one Minos and another 15. So my thread's coming downwards and I'm wanting to put this into the centre so I'm going to go through the middle hole in the bottom Arcos bead. We're going to pick up another three of the size 15s and coming across we're going to go up 
out of the bottom of the Arcos. And then take another half tiller through the Arcos and up. We're now going to pick another three. of the size 15 seed beads and come back down through the centre of our Arcos. I'm going through the two seed beads and the Minos and coming out of the bottom using the beading needle to come out there. And come back down. Keep my tail end out of the way there. And three more seeds. And up. And out. So I'm coming out of the side of the top arcos next to my seed bead here. I'm going to change the slight threading system of this one. So I'm going to come across now through the first three of my seed beads in this row, but just the first three. So we're going to come across through those three there. Make sure you don't miss any of the seed beads when you do this. And I'm coming up out of that third one. I'm going to pull my cord through and we're going to pick another seed bead. So we're actually going to have a row of seven here. So I've picked up another new seed bead and I'm going to go through again the next three in that row. So I'm going back through and out. So I've just gone through those first three and back down. And that's creating this beautiful edge around the Arcos bead. We need to now make sure we can add our next group on. So we're going to go through and down and stop at the half tiller. So back through the Arcos and the half tiller bead. So you notice my needles come out of the half tiller bead there. And I'm taking the thread across through the half tiller and up. Where I'm now going to pick up my next Arcos. So I'm going to go up through the Arcos bead. So we've got the next one going on there. And we're going to pick three seed beads. So I've got three more and back through the center. For the centerpiece, we're going to pick up a seed bead, a papuka minos, and a seed bead. And we're going to go through the center of our next Arcos bead, so the center hole. Take another three seed beads with your beading needle and we're going through the 
very far hole on our arquoise bead and up. To continue our links, we then pick up a, another of our half tiller bead and through the top arcos. Take your three seed beads onto your beading needle and down through the centre and your seed and minos in the centre of the arcos beads as well. So make sure your needle goes all the way through those and we're coming out and down at the bottom. Pick up another three of the seed beads and go back up through the arcos, the half tiller and the top arcos. And we're going to add our seventh seed bead now on this top row. So you're going to go through the first three, pick up a seed bead. So we're doing the first three seed beads here. Pick up and then the next three in that row. Giving you that top effect over the top of the Arcos on the top row. You may be wondering, I've not said anything about the bottom row, but that's when we come back along. So for now, we're just gonna concentrate on getting the seven on the top row, and then this will do afterwards. So I'm gonna continue chaining these together until I've got the length for my bracelet. So I'm gonna go back down through the half tiller and out of the bottom of the half tiller. Across the half tiller and up connecting the next arcos. So I'll do one more and then I'll leave that for you to get up to the length of bracelet required and we can finish off the project. So I'm going to leave you there, like I say, to create the bracelet length that you need and then we'll move on to finishing that off and showing you also how to pop the fastener on. See you soon. Okay, so I left you finishing off the bottom row with the seven seed beads and completing the length we needed for this beautiful bracelet. So I've gone ahead and got to the end and the length that I need for this one. I'm coming out now at the end of this row and I'm going to start going back up and continue by filling in the seventh seed bead between the six all at the top. So very easily, just going to take that up through the arcos, through the half tiller and out through the top of the arcos. 
which now wants to go through the seed bead as well so we'll just make that easier for ourselves and do that. I'm then going to go across the first two to the left and out with the beading needle and I'm picking up one single size 15 in the silver and then going to go back through the three seed beads next to that. Let's not have you looping under there. And then down through the Arcos, through the Arcos and the half tiller. And you'll notice I've just gone through the tiller and then I'm coming out with the beading needle. So we're coming out through there. across under the half tiller and then back up the other side of the half tiller bead. Move my fingers out the way. So we're going back up, which can be a bit tricky, and out through the arcos. And it's also, again, gone straight through the first seed bead, which is no problem at all. So we'll just go through the next two and then we're picking up. Next three, and then Arcos, and half tiller. So continue all the way back along your top row. And then we'll join again to finish on this side and I'll show you how to tie the threads off as well. Okay, so I've come all the way along. So we've filled in between our gaps and I'm just on to my last but one because I'm gonna tuck that end with this uh, cotton here so we're gonna where we started our project so I'm just gonna finish those last few and I'm gonna show you how to tie off your thread as well okay so I've just come out of that last seed bead on that row and let's just flip this round. I'm going to take my needle under the thread that's running through the bead from the seed to the arcos. So I'm just sliding my needle through there and you'll see I've got a loop of fire line forming there. So I'm going to go back through that fire line and I'm going to pull that nice and tight creating a knot next to the seed bead and between the arcos. I'm then going to go through the arcos and out. I'm going to loop under the thread between the arcos and the half tiller bead. Pull that so we've got a loop forming. Through and pull that tight. So I've now got two knots either side of the arcos back through my half tiller and I'm going to do one on this side of the tiller so I've got three knots just to make sure we're really finishing this off and it's nice and secure. Back through the loop, pull it tight and I'm going to come out through the arcos and that first seed bead before trimming the rest of the fire line away. So I've come up and out of the seed bead with my thread and now I'm going to take that away. Be very careful when you're finishing this bit, you do not want to cut through the thread running through your beads so as close as you can but do watch out for that. So we'll take that away. You'll see that's given us a nice finish. We don't have any knots on show and I'm just going to tuck this end in now. So I'm going to take my starter bead off and replace the needle onto that end as well. Okay, 
So we've got the needle on and I'm going to go back on myself, so through those three. Pick up one and back through the three. Okay, and we're going to do our knots again. So one through there, through the loop, pull that tight, back through your arcos, picking up the thread in between those two. through my loop, half tiller, last knot on this side. So your bead and seed bead. And I'm out to the top. Take away the thread. And there you have all the top and bottom row with all of the beautiful seed beads running across the top. And we've now got our two ends and you're probably wondering how we're going to put the fasten on. So that's where our 0.8 wire comes through, comes in. And we're going to attach the toggle clasp with a tiny little Minos uh, in between, which I think gives that a really nice finish effect to the bracelet as well. So I'll go ahead and show you how to pop that end on. So we're going to take our tools and I'm going to start with a pair of round nose pliers and I'm just going to create so about halfway down the pliers I'm just going to create a little bend there in the wire and take that through the top of the half tiller so that sits in the middle like so and then I'm going to wrap so I'm bringing those two sides around each other with the wire and I'm going to wrap the end. So I'm creating a small spiral upwards with the wire. Just twisting that round. So I'm going to do about three twists here. So we've got the three twists in the wire and using the side cutters take that excess away. So I'm using the smooth edge of the side cutters to get as close as I can and take that wire off. Pick up one of the Minos beads, like so, and then attach the clasp. So I've got my bead on, that's connected there, and now I want to connect this to the clasp. So I'm going to place my pliers above the Minos bead and then push the plier away at a 90 degree angle. I'm then going to reposition my pliers above that 90 degree angle and then bring that all the way over the top of the pliers. So we've created a nice hook in the wire. Thread the toggle part of my clasp on here. And then I'm going to wrap the wire again. So I'm just placing my pliers across there to hold it as I wrap the wire round in the spiral. So this time I'm spiraling downwards and I should be able to get my three wraps in again and then take away that excess wire using the side cutters. I 
I have a tiny lip here, which is a bit awkward to get to. So if that happens, take your flat nose pliers and you just want to gently tease that in. That way there's nothing scratchy when someone will be wearing the bracelet. So that will give you the fastening. Repeat the same on the opposite side, but just with the um, O part of your toggle clasp. And then these two will join beautifully together to give you a fab fastener. Thank you for watching our tutorial today. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe now to our YouTube channel where you can see all of our latest designs and ideas. All the beads used you can buy at beadsjar.co.uk. Until the next time, bye bye.